that. Yeah, of course I have. And me sandwiches. And me football boots. Hey, what's up with you this morning? Just checking. Uh, you want down with that? No, uh, I'll pull out a bit later, son. You go on. Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. Do you want to have a cup of tea? No. I'll have a revenge. I'm going to there this morning. What for? You don't usually do mornings? Yeah, well, with Simon there now, I've got to show Willie, haven't I? I don't want to lose my job. Look, Kath, you're just making excuses. Oh, not now, Pete, please. Just give me time, eh? Look, I want to know. Tonight, I promise. We'll talk about it when he was there. All right? Morning. Morning. What sort of sale is it? Only speciality, thanks. I'm gradually winding down the stock. Do aspirins count as that? No, I suppose so. No, well, I'll have a packet then. Right. I'll see what else you've got later. Time for that now, is it? I'm oh, sorry. Look, about last night. I don't want to talk about it right this minute, okay? I know Dr. Legg said give it time, but maybe I should go and see Dr. Bill. He may be something medical. Well, that customer's coming through anyway. There's probably tension or something. I mean, you know, I love you. Ali, will you stop it? We both know it's a question of timing. At the moment, yours is right off. Yeah, I just thought I'd better come round and check you out. Oh, you're not going like that, are you? Why? What's the matter? Mary, he's a good agent when you can pin him down. Now, I know you've got a lunchtime job, but it's not regular. He can get you a range of work. He's already got one punk stripper on his books, and she makes peanuts. Hunters just don't go for it. Why not? Because, my dear, it's just not what they're used to. They're all the same. They're like nuns, schoolgirls, brides, rubber chains, you know, normal. It's old-fashioned to a man, especially the young ones. Now, they're crazy about suspenders. <laughs> Weird, huh? Don't look at me like that. Now you've got a job, you've got to know the ropes. Now look, come on, I'll do your face for you, shall I? Look, if you want to make the money, you've got to know the market. Now take all that off, and I'll start over again. Now, what have you got in your makeup kit? You what a good neck. And that's running out. How many more times do I have to tell you that I'm not bunking off? No, just checking. I'm just sitting here quietly working on ideas for the float to try and help you. That's something I thought we could do together. Mm. Looks good. If it don't cost too much. Good morning. Before you say a word, Mum, I'm not at school anymore. I'm tired of trying to get that through to you. But my first lecture starts at 10.30, so I'll see you later. Boys growing up. Do you want a tea? Do you know what I said to myself this morning? I'm going to have a real conversation with you and get right through what we have to say to each other without it turning into a row. You want to give it a try? No, no, listen, Hannah. No, 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 you listen. Please, Tony, just listen. Now, all this has gone too far. I think we're both agreed about that. I mean, underneath, we both want to do what's right for ourselves and for our children. All these legal hassles are getting us absolutely nowhere. I mean, this could go on for months, years. Well, I've been talking to a friend of mine from the church who's very well versed in the law. Now, he's of the opinion that divorce lawyers can, and often do, make things worse. It's in the nature of the job. If we can come to terms with each other in a reasonable manner, I'm willing to allow the divorce to go through uncontested. I'm tired of fighting, Tony. I think we both just want to get on with our lives. And there's another thing. I think it's time you saw a lot more of Cassie. Now, I know I'm to blame for that, I know that. She's 11 now. It's a tricky age. And she's missing her dad very much. Right. What do you think? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, come on. You look great. Now then, look. I'll mind any this morning. You go right out there, find yourself a babysitter.
track down old 10%, come back here and we'll work out a contract on what you should wear. Maybe we can adapt your punk gear. Okay. Well, go on. I can't do it for you. But you know that I can't... Well, you will go over my contract with me, Oh, you? come on. What do you think? Now, go on. No more Where's excuses. Bye-bye. Hey, what's the name of that bloke on the plinth? You know him, Piccadilly. You are? My mind's gone blank. That statue. Eros. Ah, that's the one. Right, Arthur? Hello. God, I didn't recognise you. You look smashing. Is that the new look? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> hey, Paul, you can have a word with you in private. Yeah, of course you can. I'll go and see if the little fella's all right. Then. Cheers, Arthur. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, no, thanks. Well, what's your problem? It's Annie. There's nothing wrong with her, is there? Oh, no, no, of course not. It's just with this job, I'll be needing a babysitter, and I was wondering if you... Well, I'd pay you and everything. Thought that was the problem. Sit down, love. Go on. I'm sorry, but, uh, no. Since we spoke before, I've thought and thought about it, and I'm not a prude, never have been. But I just don't think it's right. I thought you were my friend. I thought you liked Annie. What's wrong with it, Pauline? That's not the point, and you know it. Any other job, and I wouldn't hesitate. Oh, what's wrong with it? Look, it's not for me to sit in judgement, but I just don't think it's right. I'm sorry. It don't mean nothing. It's just a laugh. I've got no money. What else am I going to do? Have you got no more respect for yourself than that? Respect don't pay the rent, and it don't buy Annie what she needs. You just sound like the nuns at school. They don't touch you, Pauline. They just look. And if they're daft enough to pay for that, then it's their lookout. Yes, but what's it going to do to you? What happens when one day some nice young boy comes along and he wants to marry you? You've got to be joking. I gave that idea up when I found myself right where your Michelle's ended up. And where's the nice boy that's going to marry her, eh? It's all right for you. You've got a family. Hurry up, mate. You've been out here for hours. We've got to open up in a minute. Love, you all right? I don't know. <coughs> Everyone must have had a sister, mustn't she? Yeah. <coughs> She's going to get her card. She keeps not turning up. <coughs> I mean, as soon as you clean one bit, move on to do the next bit, and then you turn around and the bit you just done's dirty again. I don't understand it. Yeah, it's just like life, <coughs> isn't it? Yeah, give me that. You'll be over in people's feet come closing time. I was good at cleaning in the army. I was really good at keeping me kit clean, you I know. I bet you were. Now, come on, move your feet. Sorry. Perhaps you shouldn't be around us for your complaint. No, no, it's not that. Look, is there anything else you should be doing? This morning, you name it, it needs doing. Thanks, right darling. then, I've done the road, eh? Oh, well done. Whatever did we do without you, eh? Oh, oh, it's a professional job. Oh, no, not the 5.30, I mean, that's a killer. Oh, you know my domestic problems. I've done it before, I know, but it's just really difficult. That's fair enough. Lofty then. Well, if I've got to do lunch times and all, I mean, I won't be able to get any meat. We're closed! Sorry? Yeah, we see how it works It'll out. work out fine, Lofty. Thank you very much. Hang on a minute. We're closed, darling. Yeah, but I've got to use the phone, please, Ange. Well, can't you wait till time? You're losing me my licence, babe. Yeah, and I want to talk to Cathy and all in private. OK? Cheers, Ange. You look nice, Mary. Got something special, huh? Yeah, I've got this job. Listen, do you know of anybody that want to earn a bit extra looking after Annie? No. <laughs> no, I didn't suppose so, no. Well, if you do know of anybody on the state, let us know, eh? Hello? <sighs> it's all right for you two. You don't have to deal with things like dirty phone calls. Hi. You look tired. Shall I make some coffee? Hmm. In case you're wondering, I just came to collect some clothes, love. I'm Starsky and Hatchet, eh? They're fine. It's no good luck, babes. I can't move back here, not until we work things out. I know where I stand. Let's see. We're going to have to talk then, aren't we? Yeah, I can't just stay. Not until we've... Put you back on shift. I wanted to ask you, what about Saturday evening, eh? Yeah, if you like. 
Have you, uh, have you told anyone? <laughs> and that have I. You don't look too well yourself. Are you been sleeping all right? Perfectly, thank you. Why shouldn't I? No, I just wondered. Says that you always used to say you can never get to sleep when I was not night. It's surprising what you can get used to. If you need anything, I mean, before Saturday, you've only got a ring. I know. You've got the number, haven't yeah. you? It's on the pad. Right, I'd, I'd better get on then, eh? What about your coffee? I'll get it when I'm packed. Oh, can't touch that. Pure poison. What? Sugar. I was reading this article, and do you know what I think? My system can't tolerate that stuff. I reckon that's at the root of all me troubles. Just think. After all I've been through. You look a bit shook up. Everything OK? Yeah, of course. Why shouldn't it be? I haven't seen Andy around lately, have you? Well, he's uh, been doing quite a bit of overtime lately. You know what it's like at the hospital. Hello, dear. Just the person I was looking for. On account of your medical connections. Sugar. Pardon? What it does to you. Just what I'm supposed to. I mean, you must have books round the house about diet and that. I was wondering if you've got anything I could borrow. I mean, nurses study them things, don't they? Yeah, can I speak to Mr Williams, please? But they said he'd be at this number. Sorry, where? The what club? Oh, right. Yeah, see you, Charles. I can have some more change for the phone, please, sir. Oh, I'm just trying to track some down. It's all right, all right. Thanks. Don't suppose you've got any skin milk? No, thought not. I'll just have a drop of the ordinary then, dear. We all know what she's up to. I mean, nobody knows more than me about mothers making sacrifices, but what she's doing is right out of order. Some sort of pub job, she told me. She's round my place just now. She wanted to know if I knew of any babysitters. Oh, no use looking at me, not with my nerves. I've done my bit for the next generation. Look where it's got me. Is that right? She never told me she was looking for someone to look after Annie. Yeah. Babysitting is cheap, I call it. I mean, nobody helped me with my nick. Babies need their mothers at that age. Well, they said he'd be there. All right, all right. I'll phone back in an hour. Excuse me, please. I really do appreciate it. You must be in cousins. Look, if you want anything, just ask, all right? There isn't anything. I've said I can manage and I will. But how can you go to school? Not that. Mm -hmm. They'll be whispering and talking oh, about you. Um, look, I'm going to get all my exams. I've got good reason to now, haven't I? You know, can I keep it unless I get a good job? Oh, it just don't seem fair, that's all. It isn't. That's what's real. There's no getting away from that. Look, Shell, I've got my box in now. So if anyone, anyone starts having a go at you, just tell me and I'll give them a good kick in the right? Well, I gotta go now. I'm late on shift as it is. Nice to see you in here again. I was beginning to think you'd taken your custom elsewhere. Yeah, I've been staying around an old mate of mine's. Broke his leg, so I've been sort of helping him get adjusted. Debs didn't like to leave the kittens. <laughs> it's not. I'll see you, Angie, okay? Ta da. Wow. It's my marriage I'm talking about. I'm going to Bangladesh. If Nama wants to come, she can, but I can't wait around for her anymore. You've been there, man. You told me that. You said you hated it. You felt like an alien. <laughs> I'm an alien everywhere. I could try and adapt. We will have to sometime. Well, you wouldn't get me back in the Caribbean. There's far too much work to be done here right now. And if she does decide to come, she'll have to adapt too. Won't be much talk about her freedom then. Look, accept it, man. There, there's other women. I mean, you've got a lot to offer. Look, I am a Muslim. And we're married. Whatever she thinks she's up to right now, there's no getting away from that. I've got my cousins there. They're wives. Got nice houses. Wear nice clothes. I've got servants. I don't have to lift a finger. I don't understand it. So? Find a wife who wants all that. They're out there. It's waiting. Oh, Kathy, I've been thinking about you all morning. You sure you're all right? Of course I am. Sorry, can you manage on your own for a minute? I just want to have a word with Pauline and Kate. All right, girl talk, eh? Yes, you manage behind the bar for me. Come along, darling, just five minutes. Sange, I'm all right. I know you're all right. Just come and sit down for a second. Right then, no messy. Have you told him? Oh, oh, Kath. I just couldn't. Not last night. I thought we'd better to do it, wasn't 
You know, when I weren't feeling so emotional. Yeah, but what about Peter? I told him we'll have a talk tonight. When he ain't safely out of the way. He was in a right old state. Poor Pete. Must be all sorts of things going through his mind. I know. But it's just really difficult. I've been going over and over my head what to say. It's just coming out different every time. Listen, he's your old man and he's my brother. Now we know he's a good bloke. So why don't you just tell him? I don't know about that, Paul. I mean, I got followed down by a bloke once when I was first going out with Den. I mean, nothing happened because a copper come along and chased him off. But it didn't have shake me up. I told Den about it, thinking he'd be all sympathetic. And did I get a shock? What do you mean? Well, he gave me hard time, didn't he? What was I doing out that late? Why didn't I get a taxi? What do I expect walking around dressed up like that? I got so upset, I threw a cup of coffee over him. Well, I'm not worried about Peter on that score. I'm more worried about what he's going to do to Nick Cotton. Oh, now, come on, Kathy. That's our worry, not yours. Angie and I'll sort it out. Yeah. You just tell him and you'll feel much better. I'm looking for you. I said you'd be here. Yeah, busy afternoon. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm going to juice back on my loan. I don't need to think I'm unreliable. No. You sure, lad? It's not that important. I'm not Scrooge. Well, it is to me. I always do what I said I would. It's the only way, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You all right? Why should you say that? Just look a bit down, that's all. There's a lot of flu going around. Nah, there's nothing wrong with me. Come on, I'll walk you back. Yeah. Um, I hear you got a job. So? I need to get spiky. It don't matter to me what people do for a living. Got to live, haven't we? <laughs> I just wondered if you'd found anybody to look after Annie. No. Do you know of anyone? Yes, me. Oh, brilliant. I mean, it's obvious. Why didn't you come straight to me with me living so close and everything? You get on a tree. Don't we, sweet? When did you start? This week. Oh, then. Well, I thought you wouldn't want to because... How's then? You don't think I can't look after kids, right? Is that it? Oh, of course it isn't. You're great at it. Annie loves you. Oh, come on, Mum, hurry up. I'm late as it is. Look, don't ask all your mother. She's doing her best. I don't know what you've got to do that for anyway. I'm going to get some sweaty again. I'm not having you going down there with dirty stuff. So who's going to notice? Me? That's who? There we are. Now I'll just check it. I won't fool you never have before, Dad. Look, it's your final training session. It's important. You don't look less than your best, and you will do if you've got anything. Won't take a sec. Yeah, well, a lot of good that'll be if I'm not there at all. Oh, this is still damp, but it should have been aired. I'm off. Who's the boost? Hello. Good luck. We didn't help much, did we? Look, do you want a drink? No, I don't think so. Yes, you do. We both do. Now you're going to sit over there. And let's get it over with. I'm sorry, Pete. I'm so sorry. Well, how do you think I feel? I've been running crazy all day. Now, if that little bastard has got something on you, you have to tell me what it's all about. Oh, well, right? promise me you'll keep calm. For Christ's sake, Kat. Try to. All right, then, we'll just talk. Otherwise, I'm personally going to beat him the pole, so I'll get it out of him. Oh, no, I don't want any violence. For Ian's sake, if you can't do it for me. When I was 14, got raped. What? What do you mean, you got raped? I don't mean interfered with or saying no when they thought I meant yes or any of the other things that happened to young girls. There wasn't nothing I could have done about it. Oh, don't come near me, Pete, please. If you want me to go on talking, just be quiet. You're thinking why I never told you. I never told no one, till it was too late. You know what my dad was like, let alone me brothers. I couldn't even tell me mum. She'd have only got another idea for not bringing me up right or something. Besides, I felt so dirty. Like somehow it had to be my fault. Oh, Jesus Christ.
he was in this car. And he asked me if I knew where Morley Street was. And I swear, I never thought twice. Because he looked so ordinary. And he asked me to show him in the A to Z. And I got in the car and we was looking it up. And the next thing I knew, I was coming to on the back seat and we was miles from anywhere. I didn't do any of the things you think you do. I didn't scream, didn't cry. Something just took over and I went dead. Not like I did with my dad, just with my mum. I thought that way he wouldn't kill me. After, he said he was sorry, but he couldn't help himself. And that if I never told no one, he'd take me back to where he'd pick me up. And that's what happened. So you see, in a way, it was my fault, because I let him. Did you go to the police? How could I? I told you. I didn't fight back. They wouldn't believe me. Oh, please, don't move, Pete. Please. I haven't finished yet. Four months later, I realised I was pregnant. I went to Dr. Legg and he got it all out of me. Didn't tell me mum and dad. I wouldn't let him. What good would that have been? He knew what they were like, all right. They wouldn't have believed it either. He did say something to me, Dad, though. I never knew what. I was a scared hell out of him, though. It was right through to the rest of it. He never laid a finger on me again. He called me a slut and all and all of that. But he never hit me. I often wonder what it was he said. Did you have an abortion? She was adopted. It was the best way. I knew even then I would have made her suffer for it somehow. I didn't want to look at her then. And I don't want to know about her now. I thought it was all over. Finished. Nothing ever is, is it? So why didn't you tell me? Oh, Pete, cos I'd shut it out. Like it happened to someone else. But it was there. On my medical records. And Nick Cotton got hold of him and now everyone's gonna know. If you want to divorce me, I'd understand. Except for Ian. Pete, what are we going to do about Ian? Shame. <laughs> you think I'll really ever leave you? You really think that? Eh? Well, he's going to be all right. Just take two of those sleeping pills. Never lie down. Everything's going to be all right, babe. Just leave it to me. Yeah, I know there's a lot of the kids want to stay bite lofty. Make note though, we'll make sure we've got the right kind of cider, eh? Half lager, half cider. How long have you been working in the pub? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's lethal stuff. You just knock about yourself. A bit flaky now. All right, for kids. Hey, look, hey, here she comes, governor's lady. Evening, lads. How's it going? Well, it's right under control. Oh, good. Yeah, you look magnificent, if that one was saying so. Oh, thank you very much, young man. Knock out. <laughs> yeah, uh, a very nice top. It's crochet, isn't it? My auntie makes them. Lofty, I think someone's trying to catch your eye down the end of the bar. Go and serve, will you? Nice to talk to a bloke who cares about clothes. Den never notices. I take the trouble. I think you've got to look smart in a pub like this, don't you? Right. Sexy but classy. Not many ladies can get it right. I've never been able to get it right with women. I can't seem to be able to work out what it is they want. Take Nema. I tried to give her everything she wanted. Some good it did me. Once I would have said no problem. No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting old. It's important to me, my marriage. What it's all about, innit? Someone to 
come home to, someone to work with. That's what I used to think. Oh, sorry, mate. I wasn't thinking. Have you had any news lately? She's had her last chance. If she wants me, she knows where I am. Marriage. Seems to me that's where it all goes wrong. Now there's Tony and some of the others, that's good. Uh, half an G&T, please. Look, I still don't get it. What am I supposed to say if I don't know what he's done? Doesn't matter what he's done. Just tell him that Pete's going to come in here looking for Nick and there's going to be real trouble if they don't do something. I know what he's like when he's gone. We're not twins for nothing. Oh, that bad. Maybe the little thug needs to be taught a lesson. Arthur, he's not just going to hit him, he's going to kill him. I don't want any brother of mine serving time for that boy. Maybe somebody will. Yeah, well, you get on with your orders. Angie and I'll sort out the rest. Well, she must have told him by now. I reckon he'll be here any minute. First place is going to come look here, Paul. Well, there's not going to be any fighting. Because dad has gone off on one of his uh, little visits. Oh, couldn't you stop him? I did me best. He thought I was just making it up to get him to stay. Oh, well, Arthur knows what to do. There won't be any brawling in there. Good. Oh, hope Cuff's going to be all right. This sort of thing, you never know which way it's going to go. She'll be all right. I'm not worried about that. Catholic. Honestly, I could kill him myself. Don't you worry about killing him. There's other ways of getting him besides using violence. Oh, my God, that's all we needed. Have an orange juice, lovely. Make it one of them sugarless ones, will you? You ought to lay off the sugar, you know. It might be just the thing for your complaint. Well, I reckon we should have done it proper last time. Don't worry, he won't get away with anything. Right, the important thing is we've got to stop Pete. Look out. Please, 